USH Innovations. Installation of USH 8mm heating mats on walls. The required tools and fixing materials should be prepared in advance. And for most walls, the 4.5 square metre heating mat is ideal. The 4 metres 50 long mat can be neatly trimmed in two halves. Taking care not to cut or crimp the pipe, the plastic mat and copper mesh are cut in two halves and pipe fastenings removed in the area of the separation. The heating mat can now be rotated carefully through 180 degrees and laid slightly overlapping. Thereafter, any excess matting is trimmed off. The heating mat halves are held up to the wall and the top fixing points clearly marked so that the lower end of the mat is at least 15 millimeters above the floor and clear of any skirting board. After drilling, the heating mat is fixed, firstly at the top, then it is straightened flat over the wall surface and secured using USH broadhead plugs. Before fixing the mats to the wall, it is important to remember to plan the route of the feeder pipes back to the manifold. Installation of USH 10mm heating mats on walls. After planning the positions of the 10mm heating mats and taking care not to cut or crimp the pipe, the plastic mat is cut into two halves and pipe fastenings removed in the area of the separation. The heating mat can now be carefully rotated 180 degrees and laid slightly overlapping with any excess matting trimmed off. The heating mat halves are held up to the wall and the top fixing points clearly marked so that the lower end of the mat is at least 15 centimeters above the floor and clear of any skirting board. After drilling the holes, the heating mat is fixed from the top down, ensuring the mats are straightened flat over the wall surface and secured using USH broadhead plugs. On certain surfaces, the heating mats can be stapled. Before fixing the mats to the wall, it is important to remember to plan the route of the feeder pipes back to the manifold. Installation of USH 10mm heating pipes with USH clip rail on walls. The positioning and spacing of the rails is marked on the wall and after drilling, the rails are fixed with roll plugs and screws to the wall. The USH clips are inserted at intervals of about 10 to 15 centimeters and turned 90 degrees to lock. The heater pipe is then clipped into the frame until a meander pattern is complete. Any pipes or bends which are proud should be firmly secured to the wall and floor 
with the USH broadhead plugs. The feeder pipes are then secured to the floor all the way back to the manifold. Connecting USH wall and floor heating mats to the manifold. Each pipe is held up to the fitting couplet and after taking into account the pipe insertion depth, the excess pipe is trimmed off using the special USH plastic pipe cutter or sharp scissors. The pipe ends are then inserted correctly into the appropriate fittings by hand or with the special USH insertion extraction pliers. The red and blue markings at the ends of the feeder pipes clearly indicate the flow and return pipes of each heating mat. Heating mats with different pipe diameters can also be connected to the manifold, since the flow rate for each circuit can be individually adjusted and preset at the manifold. The plastering must be done by a professional according to building regulations. In the top third of the wall, matting should also cover the bare surfaces, especially when using MP75, but standard plaster can also be used. 